speaking of being that good, we're going to talk about the factory being that good. You know, <clears throat> this was a, a short match, another one that just kind of led up and told a quick story to what's more the bigger picture at double or nothing. But I loved Cody coming out with the flag on his back and then Gogo bringing his his flag out. But, you know, we've said it before, and a Gogo is a star. He's got – he talked about having it, and he's got it. And does he ever – the swagger, the look – the anger, uh, the dominance in the ring. But, you know, give props where props are due. You know, Austin Gunn, he, his energy level was awesome. Yep. His, his, uh, no surprise you know, to anybody who watches Dynamite. <laughs> true. Yeah. He, he's A plus on Instagram Live, but, yep. or Instagram stories for AW. His energy level is awesome in the ring. He sold very well. I really love the little part where he grabbed the ref's arm and stopped him from ringing the bell. And he's like, I'm going to continue this fight. I'm going to continue this fight after taking two punches to the gut, bleeding from the mouth. Um, but I absolutely loved what I saw from a go-go, the factory. You know, he didn't do much, but what he did was powerful, mm-hmm. you know, and it was what you need and need in a star, what you need in an absolute badass, what you need in the factory continuing to push them being and you know a go-go responded to us on twitter we had a nice interaction with him and qt like it was a a very thoughtful response and Mm -hmm. you know kind of pulled back the curtain how qt was how much he was there for him especially during all the COVID stuff so uh check our twitter if you haven't seen it the response from uh uh, a go-go on it but yeah this this was great man a go-go i am huge fan you know huge fan of a go-go and i know you are a qt marshall fan so we all are but yeah, I, I've been digging the factory from the get-go. Um, you know, I'm glad to hear you kind of, like, you yeah. talking up Ogogo. I think that the dude has has emerged as a very genuine – He like, the dude is he, – he is who he is, and he doesn't apologize for it. And I, th- and I like that about him. Um, you know, he on, – on social media, he comes off as a very intelligent, thoughtful um, – yep, nah. He Just a, like a very – deep person honestly i, I don't know mm-hmm. how else to put it he comes off as, as and, he, and he's willing to share a, a side of him that i feel like not a lot of pro athletes do i i respect that a lot his yep. interactions with the fans and things like that he just comes off as just a, a very thoughtful person mm-hmm. um and you combine an intelligent guy like that with a guy who can then do what he could do in the ring like physically Oof. You have something, bro. I mean, you absolutely you have something there that we saw very early on, man. Like from from the beginning, um, a go go has that that it factor, and 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 it's very yes. important when you look at it on an international scale that the AW can tap into marketplaces outside of the U.S. And I think that mm-hmm. what you know, I, although I feel like this U, U.S. U.K. thing is very unneeded, very unnecessary in the landscape of the feud. Personally, True. I feel like um, the factory versus the Nightmare Family was a gr- was a feud that had enough fire to it that didn't right. need all this noise about patriot patriotism and nationalism. And I think more than anything, it's just divided the fan base, um, and, and it's made people turn on Cody a little bit. That you know, because I know it's a very vo- in vogue thing to hate on your own country in, in America, but um, we're not like that here. Um, but I, I think that we'll I've say seen that a, for another time. I've seen that. A <laughs> I've seen that a lot on, on social media. I, I just think True. that like the UK versus USA thing wasn't really needed. Um, right. I think that the feud between the Nightmare Family and the Factory had a lot of juice to it. And I, so I, I'm hoping that what happens at Double or Nothing, QT, my man, QT Marshall, uh, gets involved in some way, shape, or form and kind of yep. re, refocuses this feud again yes. on the very personal side of things where as – Anthony pointed out in his in his in our conversation with him, you know, this is a personal thing for the factory. Um, yep. You know, Cody gets all the love as this like great guy and the leader of the night of the, of the like the training facility down there and all right. this stuff. But Anthony really talked a lot about how QT is the coach. He's the guy who, through thick and thin, through travel restrictions and all these things, mm-hmm. he was the one who was checking in on him. He was the one who was making sure that that Anthony knew, like, hey man, you're a star. We 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 know that once you get through this stuff, you're gonna have a place here. Um, and I feel like that family dynamic of like 
of the factory and like them breaking away, that will be the focus coming out of double or nothing. That said, right. man, Anthony Agogo, dude, like the beating that he gave to Austin Gunn tonight, leaving that that kid bloody and and just defeated on the in oh, the yeah. middle of the ring. I have a feeling that that's going to be a visual that we see a lot going forward in Anthony Agogo matches. This dude is the type of guy that is going to to leave a a, a, a trail of just a beatings in his path. I don't I don't see him losing to Cody a double or nothing, bro. I I, I know that that's maybe a spoiler for our pre-show, <laughs> but I just see that the way that like that this guy is trending they have something with Anthony Agogo. They have a, a, a potential breakout superstar, and we know what Cody. Right. We know Cody. We know that that dude is more than willing to to use his spot um, to elevate other other talent. They, they they this is a huge opportunity. I I really I mean I'm firmly on the factory side. I've been so I even have the bowling shirt to prove it. I'll bust it out. I'll be rooting this Friday. For, Bring it out this I'll Friday, be, bro. I'll be rooting for the for the for QT Marshall and his crew. Um, Ogogo is gonna win. Period. I mean, he. I mean, he. Cody will put him over. He's he's got too much of a, a good star and a good story with the Gogo to not get a push out of that. And uh, you know, it's essentially kind of trading wins. You know, Cody put down QT, their leader. And now Ogogo is gonna be like the the beast that can be unstoppable of the factory. So I, I think that this is. What's great, you know, it's, it's it's booking like yeah, booked as a monster, which is perfect, exactly a perfect what you said, and I completely agree. So Cody's going to get put down, he's going to get knocked out, he's going to get dragged out, he's going to be left there, and and it's going to be great, a good push for the factory for sure, man. The visual of of a go go standing tall over a bloody Cody, I don't know, man, that could be that could be something. Um, I hope. I mean, if you really want to get some massive, massive heat, you do something bad with the flag. So, yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I noticed that Cody was quick to grab it before it touched the ground. Obviously, you do never want to disrespect the flag by putting that on the ground. But maybe he does something really disrespectful and he would get some massive heat out of that. So, uh, I'm not for defacing the flag ever. Mm. You know, America pride for sure. You know, in the country, but I think that is something you could. Uh, incorporate but i don't know how low you want to go a go go's been leaning a <laughs> go go's been leaning into that quite a bit in his promos and i know like yeah. cody's cody's promo got a lot of attention with like his patriotism about the states but like people who are paying attention to what a go has been talking about since, since his debut that they see i mean he's been talking about like this country is crap i'm only here to make money i mean like all the stuff that i mean he's been really yeah. leaning into his like like uh and in, in, in typical UK fashion, right. I, I work for I work for a guy who is a Brit, and they they like they just kind of have that natural like they they were the first empire of the world you know, type of thing. They think that they're like that, that the world didn't exist before the UK empire type of thing, and they like they just kind of have that that kind of the, the the royal hierarchy thing with the king and the queen and all that. They just kind of they it's just a natural part of being a Brit, and I don't think that's a bad thing. They know that that like they know their country is right. awesome. They know that right. like. You know that they, they've like they really like ushered in a whole new era to the Western world. So, no, I, I don't know, man. I think it's I think it's very interesting. I think that there's going to be, I, I don't I think that they're already showing they're leaning into that SPD. There's there's they're not going to pull the the put the foot off the gas at this point. Anthony Agogo is going to be doing something. He's going to do something that is going to be uh, get him some heat for sure.